And Jamar stood up, right? Yeah, he did. This is it right here. What a scene. Oh. That's his, that's his sign. It's your boy, Let Ru Brah out. Coming at you from the city of New Orleans. It is exactly one day after the catastrophic loss in the NFL playoffs by my beloved Buffalo Bills. Shout out to Joe Burrow. And Jamal Chase of the Cincinnati Bengals. I fucks with them dudes. They went to LSU. I follow them since I, I do like LSU as a college team. Second of Florida, of course. Gators, where y'all at? This motherfucker. Florida Gators first. But I also like LSU. So shout out to them boys. I wasn't as upset as last year when the Bills lost to Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. An epic, out of control game last season. So anyway, Bills lose. Third year in a row in the divisional playoff. I don't know what the fuck they're going to have to do. I mean, I, knew, I know they need some wide receivers. I don't think your boy, Gabe Davis, is a good enough X receiver or WR2. They need somebody who could catch that damn ball. See how Cincinnati got Jamal Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. The motherfuckers got three niggas who could start anywhere in the league. You know, it remind me of the 49ers like in the 90s. I don't know if y'all remember that. In the late 90s, Jerry Rice, Ral Owens, J.J. Stokes. You know what I'm saying? The boys had a squad back then. So you got to get somebody for Josh Allen to throw the damn ball to, bro. A motherfucker gonna keep losing. But once they double team Diggs and they put the clamps on stuff on Diggs, man, that shit dead, bro. What the fuck can you do? You know? Not much that could be done. So, anyway, shout out to the Buffalo Bills, man. We gotta get it together. Maybe next year, maybe the year after. But this it, is not going to be easy. As long as Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert, Abel, we say Abel, New Orleans. Justin Abel, motherfucker. And uh, shit, Trevor Lawrence. The motherfuckers got hot towards the end of the season and, and started playing ball. It's got all these great quarterbacks in that AFC division, bro. So, work going to be cut out for um, for the Bills every single season. So, hopefully, they can get it all together. I thought this year was the year towards the beginning of the season. But then as the season progressed, I saw us making some turnovers, especially in the red zone, interception, fumble, especially by Josh Allen. I saw some chinks in our armor. I, I thought... I don't think we're going to make it all the way. We're making dumbass mistakes. We're not a complete football team. And so, for that reason, I don't think we're going to make it that far. Motherfucker, last year I was ready to jump off a bridge behind this shit. That's how good that game was between the Bills and the Chiefs last season. But I didn't expect the Bills to actually win the Super Bowl. Yes, I put a bet 
that they would win, but I didn't think so. I say around week 13, 14, 15. I don't think we're going all the way, man. We're a damn good team, but we're more like above average. I, don't, I never thought we were great after 12, week 12. The beginning of the season, I thought we had a shot. When I saw those turnovers, like, well, I don't know, man. So, Bills Mafia, we're going to have to figure that shit out, bro. We keep being a you know above average team. That's not going to win championships. We all tweaking to get back to that Super Bowl. The damn that 20 years, 30 years, pardon me, since we played Dallas that second time. Oh, yes, I was a fan back then. I go way back, buddy. You know, I'm not from Buffalo, from New Orleans. Always been a Buffalo fan. You can ask anybody who been knowing me, all my day ones and shit. Motherfuckers are like, why are you a Buffalo Bills fan? Yeah, because that's what it is, motherfucker. So, anyway, today's topic is a little bit of a Buffalo Bills season recap. Let me just speak on the defense for one second. Yeah, Micah Hyde was out and was set to come back, had the Bills won and gone to the AFC Championship game, which was to be played in a neutral facility at the Mercedes-Benz Atlanta Dome. And it didn't happen because the Bills lost. Had Micah Hyde been in, I think the season would have gone a bit better. Not that the defense played Horribly, but they did in a playoff game. And for that reason, Leslie Frazier may have to get fired. You know, irrespective of everything positive he's done this past season. When it all mattered, it's like, well, that's not good. So, the topic of this video after discussing the Bills losing season but playoff is all these the Mar Hamlin conspiracy theories so as you all recall the Mar Hamlin number three pictured here was involved with a collision with T Higgins from the Bengals Made a tackle, got up, and then passed out. Rushed to the hospital, University of Cincinnati. Everybody cried and shit, thinking he was not alive anymore. So, but since then, the person claiming to be the more Hamlin has been posting on Twitter and all this and that was at the game and so basically the conspiracy saying is saying that Damar Hamlin passed away and succumbed from his injuries from this night it was January 2nd 2023 in which he passed out after making that tackle so the conspiracy saying he hasn't shown his face since then and it's a cover up. His family is in on a collusion. Pennsylvania state records show him dead. All this other shit. Okay, I'm not saying I believe either side at this point. I'm playing a wait and see game. So I know how corporations can be dishonest, as we've seen with the vaccine. In the bug 1919. So, I'm not saying that this is actually what is taking place, but I won't put it beyond NFL to cover up something. Okay. So, that's what people are saying. They're saying that the person who is allegedly the more Hamlin is a stand in, and some of even going as far to say that he's a clone. And that's why DeMar Hamlin 
responded to this by showing up to his mural that said he was a clone. Now, just to talk about this mural for a second. It's at the bottom. It's called Adam ZG's or something like that. Zygus. Man, why the fuck you made Damar Hamlin two arms different sizes, dog? He like a super jerker off up in this motherfucker. The left arm is swole because he jerks off with that bitch, but the other one don't do nothing. Fam, this dude a whole NFL player, bro. He gonna have big arms on both sides, man. Tell him go edit that shit. Well, redo it. The man that he redoes this mural, the mo, looking like. Oh, uh, Rafael Nadal with one big arm. Like them tennis players be having one big arm. But I play tennis too. And I got two big arms, nigga. <laughs> ah, yeah, this thing. But anyway, so the Moore Hamlin is responding to the clone accusation right here. And is trolling these conspiracy theorists. Now, I'm a tried and true conspiracy theorist. Yes, believe it. I'm one of the first black, light-skinned conspiracy theorists in America, motherfucker. I'm talking about since goddamn, since 9-11, since the Gulf of Tonkin, motherfucker. I wasn't even alive yet, but I was knowing about that shit. Operation Northwood, motherfucker. So yeah, I'm a big conspiracy theorist. I like to con- uh, denote myself as a conspiracy realist. The shit I see is real. It's not just conjecture that motherfuckers explain without providing proof. I'm just interested in the truth. That's all I'm interested in, is in the truth. Not just Logical explanations that cannot be proven. So, until then, Demar Hamlin is alive and he's well, and this is him in the videos. Until that is proven false. So, I'm gonna just play the wait and see approach with this whole thing. I love my bills. I'm sorry this happened to the dude. And in due time, We'll find out whether or not this is a legitimate conspiracy theorist or it's not. A conspiracy theory, pardon me, or it's not. We'll see. Like, share, comment, subscribe, holla back.